Hey guys, Paul from CP Addict again, back with uh, Terry Swisshelm here on his 97 F250. Uh, in this episode, we're going to go over kind of his performance mods. You heard from our last episode, you know, him getting into it and being kind of a pioneer in the performance, especially of the 7.3 and especially of the, the OBS. He's going to kind of go a little bit in depth with uh, some of the mods that they had to create and things that they did, some of the times he ran, things like that. And, We'll even maybe get a sneak peek at that cool little log book he's got of this truck from, from the day he bought it. So, so kind of where did y'all start, you know, and, and what got well, you? We started off, uh, I got one of the first sets of uh, baby swamps put in it. Uh, then we did uh, we did a, a intercooler, 7.3 out of a 99. Chopped it all up. Chopped it, it all up, put an intercooler in it, put a 1.0 housing on it. I dyno it around uh, 350, like that. Fast. It was fast <laughs> then, yeah. yeah. It, it was mu it was a lot faster yeah. than stock. Uh, from there, went to uh, Casterly, built uh, some 230cc A code injectors. <laughs> the A codes. And they're still in it. It's, it's all old school technology, I guess right. you would say now. I put the H2E on it. It was a stock H2E then which that made it faster. Yeah, kind we of. Were, we were running uh, low 13s then in it. Was that, when was the ladder rack video that was the big like, I won't say viral sensation at the time, but. Probably two years later. Okay. We came back from Arkansas with two dead cylinders <laughs> and I had a motor built and I put that motor in it, put my injectors in it and that H2E and then we were running uh, uh, well, the wife run it at 1277, a little over 106 mile an hour. It's because she doesn't lift. Right. Well, <laughs> I, I run it, my fastest was 1288, and that was with the ladder rack. Uh, after we took the ladder rack off, it slowed back down. We got 12 nines out of it. We couldn't get any faster. Don't know why. I guess the ladder rack just weighed, <laughs> just weighed enough to keep the tires from spinning. Tires from spinning. Um, this motor here, which is, this is the original motor. I had it built again. Uh, it's studded top and bottom. Uh, it's bored out 30 over. Uh, I did go back to a stock cam. I was running a cam from Bean. And uh, that motor, the mo first motor had everything on it that everybody said wouldn't work. Like the cam. <laughs> right, um, the, all the Pioneer stuff. All, all the, the Pioneer stuff. And you know, we were making headwind. Uh, like I say, like I can remember, I mean, I, I'm seeing the video in my head right now of the truck down the track with a ladder rack and the smoke coming out of the dual tips right. on the back and everybody cheering because it was one of the fastest passes in a 7.3 that there was at the time other than Zane running right. whatever mm -hmm. stupid numbers he yeah, was running. Well, his truck was just, his truck was a race truck. Yeah. You know? uh, and this was 05, 06, yeah. I guess. It's still, it would still run 12s today. <laughs> I haven't I haven't uh, run it down the track, but but it, it it's still running the same 230cc uh, A code injectors. Uh, the the H2E's been rebuilt with a quick spool on it, which makes it nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was listening to it earlier, and I'm sure we'll get to hear it in a little bit. You know the the, the sound it makes. You're basically it's still though pretty much on stock suspension on this thing, right? Yeah, I haven't done anything to the suspension. It's still the factory rear end. I just put shocks on it. That's it. Still factory TTB in the front. Mm -hmm. Everything. No ladder bars. No. No crazy. Nothing. No nothing. Nothing. Which is which um, is you know. It's got a BTS transmission in it, and that's it. I haven't done nothing to the suspension. Well, this is like I say. This is an iconic truck, and and you know, there's there's a lot of intricate little features. Like we, I was looking a while ago. Now this doesn't have anything to do with speed or anything, but it's pretty much a loaded truck, but it's got the rubber floors in it. And then for what people remember, some of us do, some of us don't, the Rockin' S overhead gauge pod with mm -hmm. overhead gauges in it. Um, you know, all, all of the stuff that is either hard to get anymore or impossible to get anymore. It's impossible to get. And, and uh, my pillar gauge is from you. Yeah. And my, my tunes are still total D diesel <laughs> performance tunes. From, from way back, old, old Tony Wildman back in the day. Right. Um, you know, and, and and it's just 
it's an icon of what a lot of people epitomize as, you know, the truck to look up to, I guess, if you will, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and, and this this club in particular, you know, this, this event, there's quite a few people here that, you know, you've got Chris Wyatt and, and his truck that was always iconic. And uh, you know you got you got Scott uh, Fosdick with with his truck, and Pat Milligan with his truck. You know we've we've uh, we've talked to to both of those guys, and you know like Wanda's truck. Just it's it's those trucks that bring up in your memory, right? You know the the fun of this sport and these. It's still running the stealth pump, the <laughs> double, the the stack double. No, they're end to end. End to end. Um, when I got that, it actually wasn't named yet, so I'm not for sure what you call that Frankenstein. <laughs> Pretty much. It's got uh, beans, uh, this first uh, dual pump fuel system on it. It's all still kicking. Basically, like we talked about before, you know, kind of all of the Pioneer stuff. Stuff that a lot of us take for granted now, you know, having big oil pumps or turbos that just bolt right in or intercooler right. kits that just go in. Or fuel systems that just and go together. Yeah. This is all stuff that had to be pieced well, and fabricated and, and made work. We uh, we tried one fuel one fuel pump, and I was dropping down to four pounds of fuel before it hit second gear. So we <laughs> added the second pump to to compensate for everything. Yeah. Well, what, what's crazy is you know y'all y'all were putting stuff together and going, let's see, right. And there's out a the, lot of that that didn't work so let's try something different you know now we have stuff that even for these trucks it's just pretty much bolt-in that there's not a whole lot of modifying for right back then you had to modify everything had, had to had to make it work and, and y'all made it work and proved that it worked and this truck is the epitome of proving that it works so we like I say uh, like I said before we appreciate you know everything that everybody did before to get these trucks to where they are and we appreciate like you bringing it out and still keeping care of it and, and things like that. And, and uh, appreciate you talking to our viewers about this truck. Well, so, it's not going anywhere. I don't blame you, mine's not going anywhere either. I still have mine that I bought in 2001 with 70,000 miles on it. It's got like 170,000 mm -hmm. on it right now. Well, I bought I bought the wife's to keep her out, out of this one. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> yes. And I and her truck's just as clean as this, and, and runs just as good too. Right. Maybe maybe next time we're out here, she can bring her truck out, and we'll uh, yeah, well, well we'll go over that truck too. It's it's even cool because it's the same color with the same interior in it. So yeah, you know, the matching it, it, is. It's identical except for its uh, extended cab. So we looked at uh, I bet we looked at a hundred trucks before I found that one online, and I had already sent the guy uh, money to hold it for me when she looked at it and she said she liked it and I said great we're going to Oklahoma next weekend to get it <laughs> we, I already bought it I was hoping you would like it so, <laughs> so we went and got it and Sunday morning Tony met us at uh, the hotel at 6 30 in the morning and it was chipped that morning thinking of which I had just bought my truck I guess maybe had it six seven months something like that my family took a vacation up to Oklahoma and we had to go through uh, Oklahoma City which is Tony was in that area at the time and I was broke as a joke and I really wanted a chip and the, it was a four position at the time was the biggest you could get that's still the, what I run today the the um, uh, Bill had gone to work for edge so yep. Tony had taken over. It was around around that time. Anyways, long long story here, but I wanted a chip really, really bad. And Tony had texted me to meet him for like lunch or something. I, I don't even remember what it was. Anyway, we met in Oklahoma City, met Tony, and my family met Tony and all that. Well, as a present, Tony gave me a four position chip to put on my, my truck. G gave me a chip. Right. Like those things at the time were like five hundred dollars. Yep. You know, and and had custom tunes on it. My truck didn't need custom tunes, but it had them. It, it had them, and I can remember sitting in the seat of my dad's Power Stroke, riding home, twisting that knob. Yep. Just waiting to get home, like <laughs> just click, 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 yep. click, 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 all the way home. I probably drove my family nuts. I know we got home at like 
9 or 10 o'clock that night. I literally tore my truck apart that night, cleaned the PCM, put it and in. put that chip in at like midnight and when I got home. You said you said a name that dawned on me, Bill. Yeah. My first chip was a Bill. It was a chip from Bill. Before he went to work for Edge? Before he went to work for Edge. That was the three positions yep. back then. Because I can remember, I'm getting way back into the forum days now, but there was a guy in Arizona, and I can't remember his name to save my life, he got rid of a TTS chip. I don't know if you remember those or not. Mm -hmm. And got one of Bill's because Bill's was the newest and latest and hottest and greatest because it had three positions on it that you could switch. And he got that, and that was where my bug started um, from there. Because I remember watching that transpire of his truck being like one of the first ones with the three position. And then, you know, Tony took over Bill's when Bill went to work right. for Edge and, you know, started doing the custom tuning. And that's where I got my tuning from. So. Yeah, well, Tony's the only one that's tuned this truck since I met Tony. Anyways, to to kind of wrap up this video, this is this is one of the trucks that, I mean, throws all kinds of flags every time I see it, and I'm always glad to see it out and about. And, you know, especially coming to this event, I just, when I came, you know, several years ago, it was cool to finally actually meet in person with somebody that I'd been watching on forums and YouTube and all that for for years. So. As always, it's, it's a pleasure. I, I appreciate you taking time to, to go over the truck with us, and uh, I hope all of our subscribers enjoy it as much as I do. So, thanks again, man. Thank you. As always, if you like our videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, if you have any trucks you want us to uh, document or video, please send the suggestions in to info at cpaddict.com or leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks.